Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to be showing you today uh, some FM 2016 guides. Uh, first of all, I'm going to be showing you how to create your very own player that you can use on your own team uh, rather than creating your own club in game. Uh, this will allow you to make as many players as you want and have them in the game uh, from default. So, the first thing you want to do is load up the FM editor. You can get this on Steam. If you come into your library and go in tools, uh, you can see there's the FM 2016 editor. Uh, so you just download that, install that and load it up. Uh, so first of all you need to choose your database, whichever one you're going to be using or whichever one's most up to date. I'm going to be using the official winter update. I've done this after the January transfer window came out in the game. Uh, so I'm using that database. So you click OK, load the database in. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are now in the database and editing the database. Um, so you've got all of the file options up here. We don't need them uh, today. What we need is to scroll down in the database section here to people. Uh, so this is where you can search for players or staff that already exist in the game. So just in this example, we can search in Messi. Uh, and this will allow you to bring up anyone's details. You can edit anyone's details before you even start the game. There we go. Me Lionel Messi. There it is. That's a big page. So I can now click on him and edit him if I want to. But I don't want to do that. I want to create a new player. So you come down to the bottom right here. And click add player. And this will give you a brand new, new unique ID, random ID. You don't need to change them. You can't change them. Uh, so... Let us just make FM star. Star. Okay, so he is a person. He's a player. Ethnicity. Uh, let's make him Northern European. Hair color. Blonde. Skin tone. Mm. Skin tone nine. That will do. Date of birth. So let's just select. That's quite old for a player. <laughs> Let's just select. There we go, the 18th of July 1994. City of birth. You can search for any city you want. Let's go with London. Uh, London City, there it is. Uh, agent. You, if you want, you can search for an agent. I don't really need to do that though. It's not necessary, it doesn't change anything. Uh, declared for nation, so whether he's going to be called up on international duty. So, okay, yes. International retirement, if you want to set a date when he'll retire. Second nations, if you've got a certain second ethnicity, and if you want him to have any background before you started. So that is the basic details of your player. Next one is contract, so club contract. You want to choose the club that he's at, so let's go with Arsenal. Click OK, and now this player is now playing for Arsenal. Uh, so he is listed as a player. No point adding a secondary job because he's going to be a first team player. Date joined 1st of July 2015, that's fine. Same day as the contract signing. Contract expires, you can set this. I like to set five year contracts when I first start, so set it on 30th of June so that would be the end of the season when it will expire full-time wage per week 100,000 there we go rolling contract uh, is whether you want him to continue rolling on after the contract has expired appearance right so you now you've got the contract clauses all of this you can edit so per appearance you'll get 10,000 Per goal, he'll get 7,500, things like that, and there's, there's other stuff as well. So, unused substitute fee, top goal scorer bonus, 100 grand. And yeah, so you can also add other clauses here that aren't automatically available. Competition bonuses, so if you win the league, give him a bonus. Uh, loan. And future transfer this will automatically loan out the player or 
in the future it will transfer the player to another club. Uh, don't see the point in doing that, so you can just continue. Person data, this is where you edit all of the uh, hidden attributes. Uh, so how loyal they are, loyalty, sportsmanship, pressure, how good they are at handling pressure, professionalism. You can edit all of that, uh, to, which will affect how your player plays in game. Uh, job preferences, this is for after the player retires. So at the moment he's got a preference to become manager, coach, physio, scout. Uh, so that will be what he does or what he wants to do after he retires. Retirement, so you can set exactly when he will retire rather than rely on the game to set his retirement. If he speaks any other languages, you can see that the default language is English, but that will also be the default language for whatever country you've set him from. So if you set it from Spain, it will be Spanish. Days at club in Nation, you can use this to add your player into the eligibility rules. So trained at a club for three years under the age of 21 in England to help with squad selection rules. So you can do that. I'm not going to bother to do that. Career plans. So if he wants to go on and continue a certain job or maybe move to another club, uh, that's how you can do that. So that's person data and contracts both done. Next we've got player data. So we've got general, what will appear on his shirt. So let's just put star. Current ability and potential ability. These are ranked on scale of zero to 200, 200 being the best. Lionel Messi's 195, I think it is. So that will give you an idea of where you should put the player. Uh, he's quite young. Uh, but I'm going to make him quite high rated, so I will give him 172. And the potential ability is the potential of growth that the player will have. Uh, if you've got a younger player, you might want a higher potential so they can grow throughout their career. If you've got an older player, their potential ability won't be much higher as they would have already reached the best of their ability. So the potential ability will match the current ability. But we've got a young player, so let's just set his potential as 187. So he's got some room to grow into a world-class player. Current reputation, home reputation and world reputation. Current reputation and home reputation are to do with the club. World reputation is to do with his international appearances, um, how likely you are to be called up, how well known you are around the world, how well you are known locally and at the club. So I'm just going to set that all to 100. Height, I'm going to make this guy a striker, so I want him fairly tall to get on some headers, but not too tall. So i put him about my height, 180 centimetres, a bit shorter. Weight, again, he's going to be quick, so 75 kilograms. That's also uh, height and weight, a uh, different scale. Height goes up to 210, you can see down in the bottom left here. Uh, it will also show you the range of any box you can go in, so up to 210 centimetres. Weight up to 120 kilograms. Left foot and right foot, these are ranked about 20. Left foot, 12, he's got 12 out of 20. Right foot, 20 out of 20. So that will mean he's better at using his right foot and he's really good at using his right foot. No work permit, that's to do if he's a foreign player uh, outside the EU. Trained in nation. Trained at club, again, squad selection rules, uh, so you can add them if you want. Now, here we are actually getting into designing our player on the pitch. Uh, so if he wants to be a striker, let's just make him a pure striker, that's it. Uh, you can set their preferred position, whether if you're playing with two strikers, he wants to play on the right or the left, or in the middle, that kind of thing. Not set, he'll, he'll be fine playing anywhere. Mental attributes. Uh, this is where you can edit uh, how your player thinks on the pitch, uh, so his vision, say, uh, positioning, getting into good positions, that kind of stuff. Aggression is the most important one here. High aggression, your players will get booked and sent off, and same with dirtiness, it's a pain in the arse. Uh, important matches, how well they cope under pressure of important matches, say a cup final. Um, that kind of thing. Leadership, whether they're going to be good for captaincy, as so you can edit all that there. Um, the physical attributes, again, 
that just sums up what it is, acceleration, speed, so how they are going to be performing when they're moving around uh, and interacting with other players. Technical attributes, this is how adept they are on the ball, of course. Goal kicking attributes, because he's a striker, we don't need to edit them. Preferred moves, so you can edit what he likes to do, uh, so he's going to place his shots. Um, let's have a look at some other ones. Dictates tempo, so players will move around him and he'll control the speed of the game. Uh, so you can also set injuries if he's got an injury or when he'll have an injury. If you want to give him an injury in the future, you can. Uh, any bans, uh, so suspensions from games and MLS player details, which isn't really necessary is it, unless you're playing with him in the MLS. Relationships, favourite people, favourite clubs, dislike people, dislike clubs. Basically, if you're really like, if he really likes the person, he's going to want to stay there. If he hates the club, he's going to want to leave. Um, playing history, so where he's played before, how his details have gone, his achievements, and if he's done any non-playing, coaching, managing, that kind of thing. So that is how you create your player. Uh, I'm going to now save. So you save the editor data as whatever you want. So star player. So I, I could save that. I'm not going to because I haven't done it properly. Uh, but I have an extra players thing created here. Uh, I will now jump into the game and show you what those players look like. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so we're now in the game. I'm going to show you how to enable your database so that you can actually use it within the game. So you've loaded up game, you're on the main screen, you're on a new career game, football manager, and selecting database, you want custom, so you can actually choose what databases you use. Click OK, and then that will start loading up the databases available to you. Just let that load. There we go. Right, so now this will show all the databases you've got. Uh, so as you can see, I've created a few. But here we've got my extra players. So click confirm after ticking that and any other databases you want if you've got any others. Click confirm and that will set that up. Uh, just for now, I'll just untick these so it loads a bit faster. So we're just going to go with England, that's where I've created the players. Just the Premier Division. Start it in England. Start game. Let that set up all the database and everything. Uh, that will just continue to load up everything as a normal uh, Football Manager 16 save. So I'll get back to you once that has loaded. Okay, so here we are in game. We've loaded the database and we are ready to view our players. So let's just come into the squad. And the players I've created are Mark Anderson and Matthew Sheringham. Uh, let's have a look at them. They haven't got a face, that's the one thing that this doesn't generate, uh, annoyingly. Uh, but you can create as many places as you want. So as you can see, I've customised all the stats. Um, if you look in the attribute details, you can see their reputations, the current ability. He's the, currently the best player in the world. Um, it does glitch out a few times at the beginning. He's the best player in the world, 20 years old, and he's valued at 600k. But after actually playing a few games, because he hasn't played before, he will start increasing his value and then you can either sell him on or just win the league. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy and you found this helpful, please leave a comment, uh, like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And stay tuned for more Football Manager 2016 tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching.